Roblox has become an incredible phenomenon since it launched, allowing players to enjoy their creative side by dressing their avatars in a scope of extravagant themed gear. Users through their avatars play together in a progression of mini-games. This permits players and brands to make their own universes for different players to visit. Roblox revealed 43.2 million everyday dynamic users on its platform in the last quarter. Despite the fact that organization leaders have said more than half of the individuals on our foundation are older than 13 years of age, a huge group of its players are still kids between 9 to 12 years of age. Roblox hosts all kinds of games on its platforms and celebrates events worldwide. And how could it lag behind on the occasion of Halloween? Halloween on Roblox was an event that began on October 26, 2021 and finished on November 9, 2021. The event was sponsored by the American chain Chipotle. Chipotle got into the virtual Halloween spirit with the Chipotle Burrito Maze launched on October 28, 2021. Chris Brandt, Chipotle's head advertising official, said in a statement, As a digital innovator, we are continually probing new platforms to meet our customers wherever they are. Roblox's ubiquity has exploded over the previous year, and we realize our fans will be eager to commend the following development of Burrito in the metaverse. Also, henceforth the organization declared it will end up being the first cafe brand to open a virtual area on Roblox on October 28 as a component of its 21st annual Burrito event. Chipotle indeed went down the line as the first ever food brand to take advantage of the allure of Roblox. The event was fundamentally engaged upon the community with various occasions per highlighted game. It was launched close by the spirit of Hallow's Eve, which started on October 31, 2021. Roblox players had the option to visit the in-game Chipotle store at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time on October 28 and different food advancements which ran until October 31. As the users visited the Chipotle's Roblox world, they had the option to spruce up their avatars in brand-related outfits, like Chip Bag Ghost, Burrito Mummy, and Spicy Devil. The initial 30,000 users who visited the virtual cafe on every day of the event got a code for a free burrito. Others got a different code, Burrito, to guarantee a $5 burrito, bowl, salad, or taco dish. Subsequent to getting their codes, players could go into the Chipotle Burrito Maze, where they would gather ingredients to stay away from beasts and arrive at the focal point of the labyrinth. Once there, players could acquire that day's Chipotle-themed virtual items for their avatar. Entry codes were valid until November 14. In any case, the in-game outfits and labyrinth was open for the sake of entertainment beginning on November 1. Chipotle said it will give its portion of proceeds from in-game deals to a cause that benefits young farmers. Hyundai, Warner Brothers, and Mattel have all held marked Roblox events, which are frequent ways for these brands to associate with more youthful crowds. Roblox, on its part, also launched a Halloween special update in which, like an unattended bowl of treats on a yard, there was a great deal to look over and no restriction to the fun that users had on the stage. Users could spruce up their avatars in a commendable assortment of items from the local shop, including Halloween wavy pigtails, a black spiderweb veil, or even a crystal skull crown to make a definitive Halloween costume. Once the users were completely prepared for the scares, they got to find what festive surprises are waiting by all through the metaverse. Ghostopia Roblox had another occasion in association with MGM Studios called Ghostopia. This was the festival of the Addams Family 2 and offered an in-game forager chase and new story-based journeys. The city of Ghostopia was totally decked out for Halloween. Users could fly around on broomsticks, gather plans for exceptional Halloween designs, and complete a unique Adams Family journey for devilish rewards. Super Golf Put your direction through another Halloween-themed forest map brimming with dark amazements. Users could even alter their ball with two bone-chilling new packs. Royale High Explore the dismays and joys of Wickery Cliffs as you and your companions play Halloween minigames, gather confections, and trade them for extras. Spirits of Hallow's Eve Dive into a domain of ghoulish pleasures, overcoming foes and finishing spine-shivering missions to procure rewards that can be reclaimed across a choice of famous experiences on Roblox, including Restaurant Tycoon 2, Roblox High School 2, Arsenal, and that's just the beginning. For the creepy season, Roblox also hosted a progression of events known as the Halloween Scare Fair, 
and dropped some new updates to go with it. Each event or cosmetic drop is currently accessible for players to utilize and engage in. Roblox's Avatars shop saw new Halloween-themed content, including Cruella de Vil-styled caps and ponytails suggestive of Batman reprobate Harley Quinn. Roblox players were also ready to wear an assortment of creepy masks to get into the Halloween vibe. New Halloween-themed adversaries including pumpkin zombies, mummies, and Frankenstein's monster, and another extraordinary ghost zombie filled the map for the players to find. Players already playing the Roblox Royale High had the option to participate in Royaloween, which had its own Halloween joys including minigames and more outfit customization. Indeed, Roblox's Halloween Scare Fair was the most ideal way to commend the season. The individuals who run a virtual eatery in Roblox had the option to engage in Restaurant Tycoon 2, improving their space with Halloween-themed beauty care products. There was additionally a pumpkin carving simulator. At last, players had the option to partake in going house to house, asking for candy and other related minigames through Roblox's Lifetopia, Dragon Adventures, and Creatures of Scenaria. Each offers its own twist on Halloween festivities. The Halloween festivities for some children, however, was halted due to the 2021 Roblox Blackout. In the event of the Chipotle event launch, it is generally accepted to have caused the 2021 Roblox Blackout. A huge piece of the Roblox user base, particularly those from 9 to 12 years of age, were forced to go offline beginning Thursday evening. Attempts to use the site resulted in just a message from Roblox, we're making things more marvelous. Be back soon! On Sunday morning, Roblox's Twitter account said that the organization had recognized the underlying cause and solution and was attempting to re-establish the platform. Hours after the fact, the organization tweeted that it was back online all over. A Roblox representative referred to the organization's tweets yet didn't remark further. The organization additionally killed a viral gossip that a Chipotle event that started right away before the blackout had made the platform crash. Roblox tweeted on Friday that this blackout was not identified with any particular encounters or associations on the platform. Meanwhile, parents were left to console worried kids. In California, Harper Deal, 9, had been sitting in front of the TV, looking through TikTok and decorating her home for Halloween. She, for most days, plays Roblox with her cousin who lives out of state. Megan Letter, a YouTube host and Roblox game designer, said she had been getting wild-eyed tweets from youngsters contemplating whether the platform would ever return. There is some frenzy, however, that is typical with youngsters, she said. Your entire life is Roblox. That is all you know. You live, eat, inhale Roblox. So when it's removed from your daily schedule, it's somewhat distressing. In Arkansas, 13-year-old Garvey Mortley was also attempting to figure out what to do with the time. I didn't actually have any Halloween plans previously, and my main plan was to play Roblox, so that sort of got destroyed," she said. Amon Runger, a 16-year-old developer, said the Halloween weekend was totally the most terrible time this blackout could have occurred. He said that developers were assessing that a huge amount of income had been lost since the blackout started. Notwithstanding the presence of Halloween festivities, youngsters searching for entertainment this end of the week appeared to be more keen on observing something that could match the sensation of playing Roblox. However, Roblox has expressed that it was an internal issue and has been resolved. The popularity of Roblox keeps on increasing notwithstanding the devs restricting public presentations of friendship, including kissing and handholding. However, players could definitely trick-or-treat together without the danger of getting restricted.